Greetings guys, it's Stokecraft. We're at location two of modern feeder fishing. Today, we're not at the location we were a few days ago. Why am I here? I am here because I expect to catch different kinds of fish this time around. Hopefully you'll see what kind of fish I mean. The rod is in already, as you can see. Only thing that needs to be done now is um, make the net ready and all that stuff. So let's do it. I'm also going to make a second rod ready. Guys, I've got one, look at the rod, look at the rod. Yes, it is one guys, it's a tonsure. Oh my god, <laughs> this is a disaster! Bloody fuck! There we go! That was number one guys. Okay guys, because the sun is shining so bright, put an umbrella over the net and the, the place where we're gonna put the fish to make sure that it doesn't dry out as quickly because it is very important to keep that wet to not damage the fish because we actually want to put them back alive of course. That's why I put the umbrella there. As you can see also, this ground here goes down on the edge, yeah, in, in an angle if you know what I mean, which is pretty annoying. So if I place my, my seat right there, it stands at an angle as well, so sitting like that is not comfortable. So what I've done, I found the stick and I put it underneath my seat and as you can see it holds it perfectly straight, which is nice. And now I can sit comfortably. Also both the rods are ready to catch. Oh my god, no, no, stay there please. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Luckily I saw it coming guys. Sorry that I didn't record the second tench properly, but the GoPro was in a different case to make some other water shots. So I couldn't record the sound and it was on this thing here, on a floater, so I couldn't really hold it properly. As you could see, some trouble with recording, but it doesn't really matter guys, we got a second one. Oh, 
We got one. So guys, we're now looking at what I've mounted on the second rod. As you can see, this is something totally different from what you've seen on the other rod so far. And uh, to be fair, I've caught two of the three tenches at the moment with this case. What is this case? This is a method uh, feeder. It's called a method feeder and it originates from Britain. It pretty much comes down to the same thing as what you've seen on the other rod, only this is a different, different montage, if you would say so. So, how does this work? As I said, it's pretty much the same thing. It's got a line with a hook and the hair and a mini boilie with the taste of white chocolate. And that works the best so far. So how does it work? The ground bait go to, goes into this mold. So let me do that quickly. A little bit of ground bait goes into the mold, as you can see. Then we're going to press the case against the ground bait in the mold. Push it on all sides a little bit and then we're going to let this fall out and what we will end up with is this looks a bit like a half egg or something so what happens this sinks to the bottom and ends up like this and the boiler will sink straight down next to it will some will lay somewhere there then what happens the ground weight gets wet and it will start crumbling off on all sides just like this and what you're left with is a perfect little bit of ground bait with your head bait right in the middle as you can see and that's the trick for method feedering, feedering. so it's in I am now going to put the rod down on something that is called a bait runner that's the thing you see over there so what this thing does as you can see my rod is on this and whenever the line through it moves it gives off a signal the sound and the lamp as you can see so how does this work you tighten the line done that already a little bit more maybe and then we're going to put this on can see on the line so that this side will sink a little bit as you can see so what happens the fish gets hooked by itself again just like the other method and when it swims away the line will get pulled off of the reel of this rod and oh you've got a bait already it looks like it at least see I can immediately demonstrate look when there's a fish on and he swims towards me look at that the clicker sinks to the bottom and it looks like we've got a fish already guys and then the fish from itself stuck so I had to try and get it loose to get the line loose you have to walk to another angle so that's what I'm doing right here and here but eventually I managed to get the fish loose. Jesus Christ!
Let's do it.